Chris, thanks. Today, Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers has ordered flags be flown at half staff on Friday for fallen St. Croix Deputy Katie Lysing. We've also learned that will be the day of her funeral. Gordon Severson is live in Hudson tonight with more details. Gordon. Yeah, Deputy Lysing's uh, squad car is parked here outside the sheriff's office. And as you can see behind me here, the community members have dropped off just so many flowers and tributes to show their support. And believe it or not, the sheriff says that what you're seeing right now, this is just some of the flowers that have been dropped, over, dropped off over the last couple of days. They've actually had to bring in several bouquets because there's just so many of them. And he spoke openly this afternoon for the first time. He is sad and frustrated by what happened, especially since Deputy Lysing's death is all already the fourth line of duty death in Wisconsin this year. Sheriff Knudsen says that the support from the community and other law enforcement agencies has been overwhelming and helpful, but he says the harsh criticism his profession has received in recent years has taken its toll on officers and their families. For those that continue to beat us down, sometimes this is the end result, and it makes our communities that much more unsafe, and we are tired. My whole profession is tired. We have to do better. And a visitation for Deputy Lyson has been scheduled for Friday. It will be at uh, Hudson High School, and it will go from 9 o'clock in the morning until noon. Immediately after that, there will be an official law enforcement funeral, and I'm told that the Sheriff's Office is also planning an official uh, law enforcement procession, but they're still working on figuring out that route at this time. Back to you.